Hey, this is Notzer, and this is the Tier 10 Japanese battleship Yamato. She has 9 460mm guns, 30 secondary guns, 162 AA guns, a surface detection of 135 kilometers, top speed 27 knots, total health 97,200. For my modules, reduce crit chance on main battery, increase main battery accuracy, increase AA effectiveness, reduce the chance of flood and fire, faster rudder shift, concealment. For my commander, Situation Awareness, Basic Survivability, Faster Turret Traverse, Superintendent, Advanced Firing Training, and Concealment again. We are on the map Land of Fire, and I'm engaging this cruiser at extreme range. I mean, extreme range. Probably not going to hit him, but we'll try. And, of course, it straddles the target. Do absolutely no damage, but oh, there's another cruiser. This time, it's the Hindenburg. And... Why is he going to the center of the map? This is really awkward. Now, you could read into the awkwardness as a, he's maybe a tier 10 player that just doesn't know how to play the game. Well, that would be right. As sad as that sounds, 10% of the time. Ooh, we straddled, but we did hit him one time for around 5k. But it's safer to assume that the tier 10 has backup. Their detection isn't as crappy as the Hindenburg, and it appears that that hypothesis was correct. The Des Moines is right next to him. He doesn't have quite the awful detectability. And we try and engage only one shell for like 1,500 points of damage. Most of it hit the water right in front of him. Urgh, this is frustrating. I have been trying to improve with my battleship play. You might have noticed a weird... Uh, whoever fired on that Hindenburg did a lot of damage. He's gonna die. Just who's gonna kill him? And it looks like it might be a battleship. But you might have noticed that my module build does not have rate of fire. I was trying to not have it because the turret traverse is bad. It's about 64 seconds with faster rate of fire. For those who don't know... Having better rate of fire will nerf the turret traverse. And obviously, a battleship turret traverse is already pretty bad. 55 seconds-ish for the Yamato. So I wanted to see, does it impact my ability to engage targets? Yes and no. It's not really noticeable if you're in a position like this, where we're sort of on the outside looking into this massive amount of enemy ships. I chose to fire on the Des Moines rather than the Izumo. The Des Moines, for whatever reason, he was not moving. And I want to take advantage of that. This is a bad strategy. Why would a tier 10 not move? 14,000 points of damage. No Citadel, though. A Citadel would have put him in his place. Instead, we just merely annoyed him. He's not going to be that stationary again. I can promise you that. Now, this is a weird game. We've got control over B and C. Doesn't look like the enemy team has any interest coming over to see. I prefer the island chain. It provides great protection. And I'm going to try and fire on that Des Moines that we initially engaged. I led him a little bit. I felt like he was going to eventually move under the guns. And we might have not led enough. And of course we straddle the target. Boy, are we straddling that target. This is one of those games where it's like, ah, come on. But you can see the advantage. There's a huge island in the way. We're only being scouted by aircraft. There's no threat of torpedoes. We also have an escort ship. That destroyer is making me feel so much more comfortable. Now I'm going to try and fire on this enemy Atago. And I felt great about... Oh, yeah. 15,000 points of damage. No Citadel, though. But 15,000 points of damage is great. No matter if you get a Citadel or not. He only has one and a half of those left, and he's dead. He's going to use a heal, of course, because the Otago is awesome like that. But they're turned away from me. I don't like that. The enemy trash kent is incoming. And yes, it, yes, it, it is a trash kent. Okay, it might say Tashkent. But, oh man, 10,000 secondaries take him out. The guy was nearly full health. And he is no longer with us. 
Part of that is just the size of the ship. It's like a cruiser. It turns like a cruiser. But it doesn't have the cruiser amount of damage. It has a small caliber gun. It's hard to use. It's one of the stinkers of the Soviet destroyer line, I would say. There are far, far, far better destroyers than the Tashkent. And you just have to work through it. At this point in the match, though, I was a little worried. They have control over B. They have an advantage in points, even though we held two to one for about seven, eight minutes, give or take. I tried to engage an enemy battleship. We didn't do very much damage at all. And I would love to have my AP already loaded so I can kill this Des Moines. And that's what we're going to try to do. I don't know. I don't think this... Yeah, this isn't the Des Moines that I really blew up. That one's kind of in the back. Yeah. 6k damage. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. I need to get better at long range. I have tried to use some chain firing techniques. And those have given me a little bit better overall damage output I'm not making use of it in this game and I will admit the battleship tier 10s are probably my weakest class that I've played so far at tier 10 the destroyer no contest cruisers I haven't lost in a tier 10 cruiser in a week or two that's at least 20 battles it's no joke okay I am no joke in those cruisers I haven't played the Destroyers because there's plenty of great content on the channel. We might go back to them. We will go back to them. But I'm just trying to get everything on the channel, get a nice variety. And this Izumo, for whatever reason, he's nearly stationary. He's got a rock just north of his position. And we're going to try and fire on him. And we do around 10k. Not bad. I have incoming shells, so I'm going to turn as fast as I can. Ooh, that AP only did 5k. That's nice. Okay, well, we're still pretty healthy. We're really healthy, in fact. Look at these guys. Des Moines, Iowa, Izumo, all bump into each other. The map is massive, yet they can't get out of each other's way. And I'm going to try to continue the powerful damage output on the Izumo. I think, uh, okay. Okay, not as good as I would have liked, but it looks like they're going to have torpedoes. And torpedoes could turn the tide in that little engagement. We have a friendly destroyer, actually two friendly destroyers that have headed out towards the enemy aircraft carrier. And they want to take him out. So I'm sort of by myself right now. I've got to be careful. The battleships are firing on my position, but I can take it. And, uh, okay, 7,500 points of damage. Three shells out of nine make contact. I'll take that. The Lexington is getting squished. He's got a destroyer on his eastern side and a destroyer on his northwestern side. It doesn't look like he has any support from his teammates. And I think the Zhao is actually firing on the Lexington as well. So that guy's going to go down. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We're keeping it somewhat close. And, oh, that looks good. All right. Every salvo is about 10,000 points of damage. Which I'll take. <laughs> I'm not picky. I just want to find success. And we need to find success rather quickly. We've got to take back one of the points. We need to kill a couple ships. we got to give our team a chance to win the game. And the Izumo... Has about 10,000 points of damage. This shot looks really good, though. Oh, yeah. We take him out. Looks like we hit the target just before the Zhao made contact. So we got full damage credit there. There's an enemy Yamato. An enemy Iowa. And it looks like they're facing my direction. I don't want to fight both of them at the same time. No matter what ship I'm in. They can really hurt you. So I'm going to try and angle against them. At least one of them. Minimize the damage you take. Someone asked me yesterday. How do you fight a lot of ships? Well, you try to limit the number of ships that actually have range on you. And 
you try and angle as effectively as you possibly can. Now this Iowa took some huge damage from someone. It probably was a torpedo. We try to fire on our counterpart. Not successful at all. I really need to get better at long range gunnery. It's probably my weakest link at this point. I prefer to get in a little bit closer. And this Iowa was backing up. I'm going to try and help finish him off. He's 10,000 points of damage, just like the Izumo. We could easily take him out. But he decides to move forward. That is a complete waste of a salvo. Uh. And the enemy, Yamato, is still moving directly towards us. He wants to kill us. We're going to maintain good angling against him as long as I possibly can. And here's a little bit of the greed. There's no reason that I should be angled at all to allow the enemy battleships to get any effective shots on us. We only have access to our back guns at this point, and here they come. Ooh, 10,000. I'll take that. Well, he did about 10,000 to me. See, this is what I'm saying. I didn't even have access to my back guns, but I took damage like I did, and it wasn't worth it. And this guy has committed. He wants to kill me. And I'm trying to make sure that this enemy Iowa falls either to me or the friendly. We're going to take a crack at it. Looks like the Zhao fired just before we did. And yeah, we're able to help assist in his destruction. Now we just have the enemy Yamato. And the torpedoes are not going to hit him. I didn't want to move forward too fast. I was kind of playing with the throttle. I wanted him to commit, maybe open up just a little bit, take a lot of damage from my team. The enemy is in the process of taking C from us. This is really bad. We are wiping them out, but I don't think we'll be able to kill enough in time to win the game. And I was thinking, you know what? I do not want to give up my ship. I do have, however, the back gun. Doesn't matter. Friendlies from all sides help finish off that battleship. We basically tanked his attention while they finished him off. This enemy Des Moines in the center of the map, he's pretty low. We could make this work. This is a situation where I think a chain fire solution would have worked out better in my favor. You could just see, I didn't move the shells around because it was obviously unloading them all and he was able to maneuver and avoid 99% of them. The friendly aircraft carrier has found the enemy destroyer. If we kill the Demore, okay. Well, we could win the game, but it doesn't look good from the standpoint they have all three points and I'm way too slow. I'm headed towards B. I'm gonna try and fire on this Des Moines. That Des Moines, however, he's going after a friendly. The destroyers try to get out of there. Run, Fubuki! Don't let him catch you. I would love to hit him, just kill him outright. Game would end. Nope. I can't believe how close they are to winning the game. If he takes out that destroyer, they're gonna be probably within 50 points. And that 50 points is gonna go up really quickly. Thankfully, the enemy destroyer can't get away. He's completely spotted the entire time. The aircraft carrier did a great job of keeping his fighters near him. We're going to try again on the Des Moines. We will capture B, at least stop the tick. And it looks like the friendly Fubuki is doing just that. He's trying to stop the tick. He sent out torpedoes. Looks like one might have actually made contact. Eh, they would have hit already. They didn't make contact. We've got what looks like a cruiser or two cruisers and a destroyer also firing on his position the cruiser south of sea is trying to take out the shimikaze and the shimikaze not sir not to the shimikaze he's trying to assassinate me but it doesn't work we already had an idea that he wanted to kill us we dropped our speed the island was protecting us no harm doesn't look like it's gonna go anywhere near friendly as well and they have an advantage this is really bad we did, as a team, kill that destroyer, but we've got to get points right now. We had to get points five minutes ago. We just lost the friendly destroyer that was around A. The Des Moines is trying to stop 
A from ticking at all. We don't have the ability to capture A because the enemy Des Moines is on it, but at least they're not gaining points from it. And this is so close. Come on! Get the kill! We need the Des Moines dead. There's not enough time. We gotta kill him. He's about ooh, 900, 500? Friendly Destroyer, I think, killed him. We did it. We did it as a team. That was really bad, but we did it as a team. We earned Close Quarter, Devastating Strike, three kills, over 400,000 credits earned, 2,324 base XP. Great job, Zhao. Great job, Des Moines. We did around 130,000 points of damage. I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you have a fantastic day. That was really close. And I'll catch you next time.